Hello everyone, I hope all are doing well, uh, Rohit here again. So today we will discuss about get response and how to use uh, get response to create a uh, form which we can use on our website to get uh, re people registered, get people signed up and we can collect you know their email addresses to send them autoresponders or newsletters or any updates which we have for our own product or services so for that what we need to do is we need to first log into our get response account and under that get response account you'll find this dashboard we'll go we'll create a form first with which we can collect email ids so you can see there are three different uh, types of uh, tabs are here one is add contact create form and newsletter above this there are different bars contact bar message bar statistics form bar so we can go here or here also at the form bar and we can create form or we sim simply you know hover our uh, cursor to this place and we can click and create start creating a form so let's move forward and you know start creating a form so we'll not go to all these stuffs we'll simply go and create with the form which is present with list uh, builder wizard it's a pre-built predefined pre-built form we can choose any form from this according to our need or we can go to the left side and we can find there are different you know uh, criteria different types of form like general form newsletter sign up free course sign up and other details are there you can choose any of this or you can create your own form by cl clicking blank so I'll simply go move forward and I'll choose any of the form out here so for an example if I go ahead and I'll choose you know uh, want to get a smart tips from our expert so I'll just use this form template and I'll move forward I, I can see that there is another window which opened with the form so now what we can do here is we can edit this form you can see at the right there are you know different columns with the columns we can edit add fields we can add any field if we require then we can change out layouts we can change style so we'll go move forward and we'll you know we can change any style we want or we can change the layout so first of all what I'll do is I'll just shrink this form a bit and You can see I'll move so if I want to edit something inside this I just need to click that and then I can simply you know under this if I click I can write anything which I want so you can see smart tips if I want to write in small letters I can use that and then what I'll do is I'll simply make some changes which you can also do from your end this particular uh, box I want to shift in this side so that in come come in between suppose you want to add you know phone number column also you can simply move ahead and you can add uh, a phone number column or a mobile number column you need to drag and drop the item what you want so you can see that I have just dragged and drop one of the box mobile number box if I require mobile number so any field we which you require any field which you require you just need to drag and drop it here just need to drag and drop it here even you need image you can dra drag and drop it here if you don't need an image you can simply leave this as it is then next is uh, if I if I want to you know change some layout so I can simply go and change some layout right so we can consider this layout change also if I want some changes to be done in style so I can go change the color font size uh, line height and all so you, if you uh, you know if you check this form we can make any sort of 
you know differences in this by editing this particular form right so if I say uh, you know you want to make some changes I simply go inside this select this box and then either I start typing or either I start make some changes uh, make some changes if you want this form to look more better you can add uh, images into it or you want to make changes according to your need you can do that also right now what I have to do is I have to move forward and I have to make some another you know changes I have to give some name for this form so this form is basically for smart tips so I will give a name smart tips choose a campaign the campaign name is by default Rohit's uh, Ro sim then it's a double opt-in kind of thing so I'll leave it like this then I need to choose uh, you know a thank you page already subscribe page and all so I'll do it later but initially you need to understand like how to use this form into your uh, WordPress so I'll simply go move ahead and I'll save it then next is let me make this form a bit smaller next is I'll go and simply save and publish so the moment I go save and click save and publish I, I'll get some you know JavaScript so this JavaScript I have to copy so I have to copy this JavaScript and I have to go inside my WordPress website that means our and admin panel so either I go to any of the pages where I want to you know use this code so that my form can appear so I can go to contact box contact page under that page I'll go to text column here and under that text column I can paste that code so I'll just update it and you can check it out that form is appearing there or what I can do is I can go to appearance under appearance I co can go to widgets so that I can put that form in the sidebar footer bar or wherever you want so if suppose I want to put that form into sidebar so I can put that form into sidebar by using a text box what I'll do is I'll drag a text box to sidebar under sidebar I'll just paste the code here and I'll give a contact us or sign up and I'll simply save this up so you can see once I did that in my in my contact page I can see that form now I need to check whether that same has been saved in my uh, sidebar or not so I'll go to my website and check it out whether it has been saved in my sidebar or not so you can see it been saved by saved in my sidebar too so this is how we you know create a form and we integrate it with our WordPress website now uh, your visitors can come to your website and they can sign up and they can start providing you with their email IDs and mobile number and this can help you to build your database so this is all about how we create a form in get response and using it with wordpress thank you so much for watching this video i would request everyone to subscribe this channel and if you like the video please click the like button thank you so much have a nice day ahead